The Canadian oil sands are a newly profitable source of petroleum products. They offer energy independence from the Middle East while providing a source of jobs and money for anyone who invests in the oil sands. But what do you really know about the oil sands? How efficient is production? How does extraction affect the environment? And what are any unseen effects? Extraction of bitumen, which is pre-processed oil, has been increasing across the province of Alberta. The oil sands are extensive, covering large areas of Alberta and northwest Canada. Recently, the cost of oil has made recovering it from the ground profitable. There is an estimated 1.7 trillion barrels of oil known to exist in the oil sands, which is equivalent to known amount of oil we can access in the world. It's a huge source of energy, but it comes with risks. Marvin Steffenfelter is the chief environmentalist with Environment Canada which is similar to the EPA of the United States. And what are some of the risks? Well, land is destroyed, chemicals are leached into the watershed, and CO2 emissions skyrocket as a combination of land destruction and processing. The amount of land affected by mining of the oil sands is the size of Rhode Island. The only way to obtain the sands containing the oil is to strip off the overlaying dirt and rock. This means trees and peat bogs are destroyed. Peat bogs are especially important in storing carbon and keeping it out of the atmosphere, which is essential in regulating atmospheric CO2 levels. So where are we right now? This is a restored, or I should actually say a partially restored, mine. It used to be a peat bog. So why is there not a peat bog here right now? Peat bogs are not only hard to restore, but the government does not require that this land be restored to its original state. Actually, in this particular area, uh, we'll be planting some trees. However, trees are not as efficient at reducing carbon as peat bogs are. Of course, it's not just the loss of plant cover that affects CO2 levels. Extracting and processing the oil from the sands is extremely inefficient. With conventional mining techniques, the yield of energy for energy spent is about 7 to 1. But with processing, the ratio drops to as low as 4 to 1 and can sometimes be lower. The amount of CO2 release is substantial. The oil used for the energy extracted, it creates substantial quantities of CO2 gases, uh, which are an important greenhouse gas. In fact, this only considers actual CO2 released. Factored in the fact that the peat bog and the trees are not storing CO2 anymore, this is the equivalent of seven years of mining operations. I tried to contact Suncor, one of Canada's largest oil sand producers, about what they are doing to help reduce CO2 emissions, but I got no response. Chemicals and water are used to extract the oil from the dirt and sand material. The whole process requires large amounts of water, which they take from the nearby Athabasca River. The used water chemical mixtures are deposited into large holding ponds, where they remain. This water is highly toxic to plant and animal life, as it contains lead, mercury, and other harmful toxins. These ponds remain even after the land has been restored. The chemicals can cause deformities in fish. Heavy metals can cause problems in mammals who drink the water and eat the fish, and so on. So what do you think about the oil sands? They have too many negative effects to be useful. Find other sources of clean energy. Don't be someone who supports the oil sands. They are bad news. <laughs>